Hi, video 243. The lads are on their morning break, so I'll have a look round the workshop. Gavin's made more improvement to the outer trailing edge jig. On this side is the French midsection of the fuselage. Dennis and Jacob doing skin repairs and Keith working on the floor area repairing and renewing intercostals. This is what Keith has been working on, the intercostals. On the 35 bulkhead in position. Looks as if David has started taking out the former 38. The tailplane rear spar is bolted to this former. They're having a film shoot for three days next week. And the films, All Creatures Great and Small, a television series. The B-25 is going in RAF colours. The yeah. paint sprayer told us the paint is put on can be washed off easily when not required. Phil's back working on the rear fuselage. At the moment we're wait still waiting for the four special oh. uh, reinforcing stringers yes. that um, Simone is making. Um, and she hasn't made them yet? No. Um, She's got other projects on, so I've spoken to Andrew and uh, the guys and said the sooner we get them, yeah. the sooner we can actually get on the door. So uh, at the moment we're busy making sundry items for the, all the uh, frames that go uh, through, where all the, con all, the con all the control rods go through, yeah. just like we did to uh, the Domino Reinfuse Large. Yeah. We're now making up all the reinforcing plates that go where all the rudder and the tailplane control oh, goes yeah, through down that side, yeah. yeah. So we've got plenty to keep us going. Keep, keep us going. Yeah. But really, the door now is uh, holding up the rear fuse bar because until we get the door uh, stringers in, it'll all come together then. Yeah. 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 So really, as the stringer has gone away to be hardened. Uh, yes, they've uh, Norm has uh, sent them away. They've, yeah. they've gone away to be a, a, a anneal, I think, is the yeah. right term, because of the job within them. Yeah. Uh, then that will bring them up to the proper tensile strength required for flight. Yeah. What's right. that? T5? Uh, well, the American specification is T2024 T6, which is the, the toughest. What we do is the metal is supplied at it's called T3. Yeah. That means it can be cold worked and formed, but once you've formed it and cold worked it at T3, you then have to do some heat treatment to it to turn it into T6, which is the strongest yeah. that there is, which is obviously what we need to fly. Bit of, bit of technical information there for you. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Back from the painters, all parts of former 25. Dable will be able to assemble them and complete this former. Come on this one. The red, white and blue flashings are already on the tailplane of the B-25. The front gun turret has been fitted. Aid is securing it in a fixed position. Yeah, I've got the bolts through the bottom through the jig there. Oh, you've got them on the jig? Yeah, so it's in position, yeah, and then 
obviously Norm can do his stringers now because he knows where they finish up in the brackets and everything. And then all the bits I've just got out of paint. Um, well, I've riveted as much as I can, but obviously I can't do the webs and the, um, the, the um, formers either. So I'm going to have to part rivet them on the bench, then slide them in in yeah. two halves. And then the rest of the rivet will have to be done in situ. But I tried to get as much done on, on the bench as I could because it's just easier. Is this form a 35 or 36? Yes, 35. Yeah. 35. Yeah. And the other form and then, and was 30? 38, yeah. Some of that's still 38, in. Yeah. Some of that's still in. So once that that's in, riveted up and pinned up, and put these big bolts back through it, Yeah. and then we can start second 38 apart yeah. and do the same with that. I mean, I could probably take it off now and it, it, it shouldn't move, but it's just. I just want to be sure that I yeah. might do that. But at least it fits. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. And the streamers have gone away, Phil says to be yeah. on. Yeah, they've gone away, yeah. There's three more in the paints up being painted up. Yeah. I think Norm did play around with the back end. Yeah. And some bugs with that. Did they finish that to <coughs> box where they rear wheel slot through. I don't know about that. Well, I'd say that's normally not here. Terry will know because he Carrier was knows. doing it. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. box where the rear wheel slides into, have you got that finished? No. No, you're doing it on your bench, right? Not there. Oh. Got the angles done. Yeah. But it's got to have those heavy rivets in, what you heat up, haven't you? Yeah, uh, it's got to have some other parts done yet, so oh, is it? Yeah. we haven't progressed any further at the moment, just getting those... Um, These are the ones what have cracked up here. Yeah, those. So we've got all them done. Well, they're both sides cracked. Yeah. Oh, well, really? Same place, same area. Uh, The bits that crack now, you can see the. Oh, yeah, yes. Crack both sides. Yeah. I don't know why they crack there, it's a funny bit, it's fine. It's where it gets the most pounding. Yeah. I think that's there. If I lay that, if I lay that there, Nev, yeah. does that give you a clue while it gets. The Yes. That's where the tail wheel goes. Yeah, yeah, in. exactly in the middle where the, the um, yeah. spindle goes through to hold it. I mean, that's that's the far side one, yeah. but I'm just lining it up on here. Yeah, so that'll to give get all the pounding when the wheel touches down on that. Yeah. Oh, right, I mean, so okay. That's this side one. Yeah. Which is virtually the same place, isn't it? Yeah, and it's cracked. Yeah. Same place. Yeah. And BBMF were cracked as well, then. Yep. And the ones on that other tail section we restored were cracked. Were they? <laughs> yep. Well, that one last year was taken out completely, wasn't it? Every rivet was taken out. Yeah. And it didn't, obviously, they didn't notice it if it was cracked. Well, they did. That one. Oh, did they? That one on the tail in there. Yeah. When they took that out and stripped it down, they noticed it was cracked and they repaired it. Oh, that's yeah. why that, that one was all repaired up. Yeah. And that's the one out of Jane, so it's repaired up. So when they found both of them were cracked, that's when they mentioned the, yeah. the BBMF to warn them. Right, oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, on my feet again. Oh, don't do that now. Thanks, Terry. You're welcome. The painter started painting the roundels. The painter is part of the film staff.
Aid and Chris fit the front perspex of the gun turret. They're fitting the perspex dome after dinner. I put in it when you put it on after dinner. What's that? The perspex down. I think so, yeah. We've got, we're just going to fasten that bit of you know, the perspex sheet we just put in. Yeah. Fasten that in. And then we'll get the. I've got to get the giraffe in anyway to get to the top fasteners. Yeah. Um, and then we'll get the dome on. It'll take longer that one. Get that on and then. Uh, Is it done then? So yeah. 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 Bomb sighting, bomb yeah. sighting, bomb rest, great stuff. I've just got to make a, a drain for it, so there's some drain holes in the turret. And um, Water gets in. It yeah, well, right. there's water sits at the back of the turret and pools. Yeah. Um, so obviously it's got a drain hole that I need to, I need to make some, get some tubing and create a, a route for it to get out. Because normally it would drain out the side of the aeroplane when it goes flying. Yeah, it just draws it out. Obviously, it just draws yeah. it out. Whereas, yeah. We haven't got that luxury to it for this yeah. to go flying, so um, I'm going to have to make a drain for it to allow it to run out while the aircraft's static. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Otherwise, all our would be bomb aimers, if it's raining, will be getting wet. <laughs> yeah, so. It's coming on, isn't it? Yeah, it's doing well now. It's coming on. We've got a wing tip to put on and the uh, train you know. Yeah, we'll put the... When complete, it will look like the roundels on the mosquito in the bottom right hand corner. Red or blue? Uh, more likely the red. 
because the red I haven't got to get into yellow and the yellow's a wetter colour at the moment so if yeah. I can do the I can do the red once the white's gone off enough yeah. I can do the red Record. Okay, this is the back of your repair. Yeah. And so this is the insert repair. Yeah, so this is the insert repair. So the insert is riveted to a back plate which sits behind which you've just seen. Yeah. And then the back plate's riveted to the skin as well. Good, nice and neat job there. It's getting there, yeah. Um, and then on the other side, I've done one which is. You haven't been doing this one then? No, that's Dennis. Um, I've done this insert repair as well, which is integrated into the stringer line because of how close the damage was to the stringer. Um, and I've done this to a drawing, so referred back yeah. to drawing. Um, and then I've got some patch repairs down here which are just over little cracks and little dents. And this one's been integrated in the string of lines as well. Yeah, yeah. So, that is so yeah, just, just patching up where we can and making good and then trying to get the structural strength back into it before it's ready to go back on. So uh, there's, there's a lot of work to do yet though. This is what Keith is working on the floor intercostals. It looks as like they've finished with just Jane's trailing edge. It's been moved out of the jig and John has solid riveted the top part of the skins where the ailerons fit. They will be able to remove the trailing edge out of the jig to the right when the anger doors are open. I've also put a strengthening plate along here. Gavin has also strengthened the base of the jig so the two spars of the trailing edge don't sag between the supports. On the inboard side of the trailing edge, more jig fittings. The trailing edge still needs pop riveting where the ailerons fit. Completed form of 35 then, have you? Uh, yeah. Have you riveted the outer angle part up? Not yet, no. no you've riveted the inner, inner angle. angle. Moving yeah. form of well, 38. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of it, like the bottom bit's probably done in situ. And then the, the, out, the outer one, the way from the finishes the string is then <coughs> That's a good job all round. Then this, this 38, the back, half it's on my bench over there. It's second in the last out there. Mm. Oh, you didn't get in the film then? Sorry? You didn't get in the film? No, that, that, Brad's the main man. He didn't, he says he didn't get in it. I know, but he, he was selected. Was he? He, he even got dressed up and everything but they never used it. No, 
Selective furries, good looks and sex appeal. Because it's Brad, with Brad Pitt, you see. Oh, Brad Pitt, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you taking both sides out together now? You've taken the other side out. Yeah, I'm just popping this off now and then I'll clean these up like I've done the last one, remake the, the web in the middle, and then clean up all the other bits and bobs. You, you're taking it out though? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I think the last bolted time... Onto that, bolted onto that one now, so... Yeah. Yeah, we've we'll, we'll released this and it's going to come out from here. Do the same as we did to that one basically, put it all together, rivet on the bench, back in place. Yeah. And then I'll move to the very front one where it connects to the next part of the other one. That needs doing. Yeah. Oh, it's coming on now. Yeah. Get this one completed. Then you've only got the front transport joint, yeah, haven't yeah, you, to do? do. That. And then we're on to skin. Yeah, yeah. That's if Norman gets his finger out. <laughs> Poor lad. On the 35 in situ. Partly riveted in. Morning, Terry. Morning. What are you up to? Stringers drilling them? No. I'm making a Norman work on the scaffold tray. A work on the scaffold tray? Yeah. If you look at this underneath. Mm -hmm. Right. That's going to clip between the two longitudinal bars. And this is some scrap string material we've got. And I'm just making the edges for the tray. Keep the tools on it. So we'll really get riveting then, won't we? Get going yeah. on. Well, it's because when I was doing it yesterday, I was, I was up and down like an idiot, back and forth, on my knees up and down, and, and yeah. tools everywhere. But Hannah, who works in the shop, says, You need something that clips onto the scaffolding. And I went, We do. Yeah. And then I thought, Bit of a bit, bit short of work right at this moment. Take your fancy with this Terry, and he was like, I'm on it. <laughs> so we're doing it. Oh. So I've got to go back up there next week to do the stringers further round. Yeah. So well, that's what we're on with now. Yeah. But with that bin up there, it just saves me going back onto my knees. Yeah. Because my knees aren't the best. We're all getting old now. Mm. Yeah. We uh, don't talk about it at our house anymore. Yeah, <laughs> 30 years of playing rugby has not done anything for my knees. Pleasure, then. Hold me back.